Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. I'm Braxton, making a video for you out of Boise, Idaho here. Um, if you know what we're looking at, then you know that we're getting ready to drill out the infamous Ford Triton spark plugs. So, uh, let's see, I introduced everybody to Rosie, I think. If I haven't introduced you to Rosie, I've been working on so much stuff, I don't remember. This is Rosie. And uh, Rosie, unfortunately, decided to blow her transmission cooler, which sits in the radiator. So we're doing a full service, intake removal, radiator, all of the hoses, uh, new reservoir. I mean, the whole coolant system is being replaced. And part of that job required us to remove the spark plugs and the ignition coils. So... Upon doing that, we ran into the issue that pretty much always run into on the Triton, and that's spark plugs that like to blow out or pull their threads out with them, and that is because of the amount of carbon buildup and junk that is allowed to get down in these spark plugs, and that is why, honestly, I always suggest if you own a Triton, change your spark plugs at least once a year, and you will avoid the infamous Triton spark plug issue. So let's go ahead and go take a look and see what we're having to deal with. Okay, so I've got one of the old ones here. And so this is what happens. This is actually a factory plug. You can tell it's a factory plug because it has the paint mark on it. As a matter of fact, any vehicle you're ever working on, you can always tell that the spark plugs have been serviced um, by looking for the paint mark on the tip of the plug. If it has a paint mark, then that is a factory plug and it's never been serviced or tuned up. So if you look here on this factory plug, you can see, you see all the dirt and the carbon buildup. Okay, so what we do when these spark plugs like to get seized up in there is I pour a little bit of a mixture, a little bit of a basically carburetor cleaner, PB blaster, and parts cleaner we pour it down in there and then we slowly turn it basically so you can break all that build up in there and allow that chemical to get down into those threads break all that up and then that way you can get your spark plug out without actually breaking it which again everybody knows is a common issue with these four tritons so the only problem is is sometimes upon doing that it'll roll the threads inside of the cylinder. So now you look here, and you look on this new spark plug, and it's got rolled threads on it right up until right there where it's just destroyed. Now if you look down inside of the vehicle, down inside of that hole, that spark plug hole, I don't know if we have our camera still set up. Do we still have our camera set up? Awesome. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. So we got our awesome Ghost Recon 6 camera out there. <laughs> out here. So we've got our awesome camera down in there so you can kind of see just how nasty it is down in that spark plug hole. And this is a spark plug hole that we're having an issue with. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go in here. And we're going to have to drill this out very carefully with the kit that is provided. You can buy the kit from OTC or from Lissel. Uh, each kit is about $250 to $300. And so we'll go ahead and we'll drill this out with the cylinder head still on the engine. There are some shops that would require the customer to go ahead and pay for a complete engine removal, remove the cylinder head, send it out to the machine shop, and have the machine shop do it. But I've done this so many times now at this point. Even if you go through my YouTube channel, you'll see that Tritons and I have been in battle many times over again. And we have been successful in doing this repair with the cylinder head still on the engine and having to avoid all that mess. It just takes some time, a lot of patience, and a little bit of prayer and a miracle. So so we'll go in and we'll drill out and fix these threads up 
and then we'll probably install a helicoil that's actually provided for this engine for this issue. We'll get that helicoil installed and then we'll put a new spark plug in there and that will fix that problem, saving thousands of more dollars in repairs. And so, you know, I, I enjoy Tritons. Well, actually, no, I, you know, I, I'm going to be straightforward. We actually do tell people if you can avoid buying a Triton, just stay away from them they have their own set of problems like spark plugs blowing out and stripping threads out and all that other stuff and then they can just be a mess but you know what if you know how to get over it and and you know how to fix it they are good good engines it's just they have their own set of weird problems that just causes all kinds of issues so i'm going to go ahead and execute that today with a lot of patience care and concern and hopefully it doesn't turn into a huge nightmare and then we'll get Rosie all put back together and back on the road. So, so there you go, guys. Another Triton spark plug issue. So, all righty, folks. Well, hey, we really appreciate you supporting us, the family, the YouTube channel. One of the things that I've always liked to point out is I've noticed uh, the community here has gotten big enough so that if anybody has any questions and I can't get to you, there's all kinds of cool people that are part of this page and channel that will answer your questions and all that other stuff. So let's continue to share the knowledge and bless each other with it. Thanks again for supporting us. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. And Braxton. Signing off.